Hey everyone, I'm Luke from WeldPro, and today I'm here to talk about welding a butt joint. Butt joints can be very useful for repairing things like lawnmowers and other equipment around the house. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to weld two eighth inch coupons together using a butt joint with the GTAW or TIG process. For my purposes, I have the TIG 250 GD from WeldPro next to me. This is the new water-cooled AC-DC TIG welder from WeldPro. I'm going to use this video as an opportunity to show you how to weave the TIG process. Now, a butt joint can be done with correct preparation and a stringer bead. However, for our purposes and for light fabrication, I'm going to show you how to do a nice weave up a butt joint seam. I'm gonna go ahead and energize my machine. For our purposes today, on our 8 inch mild steel coupons, we're going to be using DC electronegative polarity. Ensure that your machine is in DC welding mode. For this process, we won't be using Pulse or any of the other advanced features on the display. We'll simply be running a straight arc and using a little weave manipulation to get adequate penetration and fusion to both pieces. I have my two plates cleaned up and I'm going to begin by tacking them together on each end. When I tack them, I'm simply going to add a drop or two of filler material to each side so that it holds the plates together and there is no air gap. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the weld. To do a weave across the butt joint, I want to develop a puddle on one side of the base material. Once that puddle is developed, I'll begin to add filler material. Moving the TIG torch back and forth between one piece of base material and the other will cause the puddle to follow your arc. As you add filler material, the filler material will bond both pieces of base material together. It's important during this process to pay attention to the puddle. If at any point you see the puddle developing something known as underfill, you may need to add a little bit of extra filler material. Underfill is when the puddle is filled below the base material. This can happen if you're fusing two pieces of material together. Just be sure to pay attention to the puddle and add filler material if you're not seeing a convex weld surface. Developing a steady rhythm of manipulation between the torch and adding filler material will ensure that your weld looks professional. When weaving the GTAW process, try to get as comfortable as possible. Use your wrist to manipulate the torch. This way you'll reduce any stress in your elbow or in your shoulder. Lengthy weaves with GTAW can often cause fatigue, but don't worry, if you practice more, you'll develop the muscle memory necessary to achieve high quality welds. As we near the end of this pass, we're starting to see some contamination develop in the weld pool. It's beginning to pop into the TIG torch from time to time. We'll be able to see this contamination on the finished weld. Don't forget that as you near the end of your pass, add a couple extra drops of filler to fill in the crater and prevent any potential crater cracking. This weld came out looking pretty good. We can start to see some of the contamination that the deoxidizers in the filler material brought to the surface of the weld. You can scrape these off with a wire brush if you desire. Hopefully this video gives you a little more information about how to weave the GTAW process or how to prepare and weld up a butt joint. As always, if you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to leave those below the video. We'll be happy to respond. If you haven't had the opportunity, take a moment and hit the subscribe button and also like this video. Enable your notifications, that way you'll be alerted the minute we release the latest content. From all of us here at WeldPro, thanks again for tuning in and we can't wait to see what you build with your brand new welder. Thank <laughs> you.